I'm Jason. I'm Diggs. I make software, music, and podcasts. I connect people personally and professionally, and I like talking with Jason. This is the Candy Factory 5x5 podcast. Five conversations. Five random topics. Five minutes each. When we hear this sound, we move on to the next topic. Next. On every episode, we invite a very special guest to join us. And our special guest on today's 5x5, Ruby Mundock, welcome back to the program. Thank you. Tell us about yourself. Um, well, hi, I'm Ruby Mundock. If you couldn't tell by my last name, I am the heir, heiress, whatever the thing is. To, Eldest heiress. To my dad's guitar. My, that's about it. My, uh, my $300 guitar yeah. collection. And, and the backlog of podcasts. Yes. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. You you will be half owner of the, cool. of the glorious Jason Mundock Diggs, it's me and you. Catalog. We're going to be the next hosts. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so I'm Jason's daughter, and I'm also a media arts student over at good old Millersville University. Woot woot. Um, just been living it up. Uh, I host a show called So in the Know here on So Good Lancaster. You might see me around there and host uh, some features with my bestie, Ariana. Shout out to you. Yeah, that's that's pretty much me. That's, that's great. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. And we are, we are recording at the media studio here at the Candy Factory. Do we make candy digs? Uh, no, I'm sorry. We don't. It's a co-working space. It's actually a uh, a co-work and social club Ooh. located in downtown Lancaster, Pennsylvania. You can schedule a tour at coworkinginlancaster.com. Community membership start at 100 bucks. You know what that gets you? That gets you in the door Whoa. anytime we're open. What? Unlimited usage. It's crazy. Oh Monday gosh. through Thursday, 8 to 6. Friday, 8 to 5. Saturdays, if you didn't know, 9 to 12. Did you know that? I don't do things Saturdays. People actually come. No, no, no. It's great. It's like it's more like a hey. I want to just hang out and read the paper, mm-hmm. drink some coffee. I didn't do that recently. Newspaper. Yeah, that's right. You <laughs> did. You were there last time. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyway, check it out. Coworkinginlancaster dot com. You can get a tour. You can check out our media studio. You can find out about our media memberships and access to the media studio if you want to make podcasts just like yeah. Five by <laughs> Five. Diggs, my friend. It's always a pleasure to see you. You too. Welcome back. If you're new to the program, here's how it works. Uh, I have an iPad. His name is Frank. He's sitting right here. And for the first time, he's angled. You can see him. He's, he's <laughs> yes, angled. Frank. Um, Frank is going to dish up five random topics. We're going to talk about each topic for five minutes. We'll hear a little jingle. We might even do a little dance, and then we're going to move on to the next topic. So, Sorry. the good news is, Sorry. if you're if you're about if you're a minute and a half in, and you're like, this topic is going nowhere, it's okay because it's only five minutes. Right. That's it. And we're moving on. You guys feel good? Yeah. Yeah. Well, this cord's a little short. So I'm just adjusting. There we go. You feel better? Ta-da. Yeah, I just, it's a little, not much mobility, but we can work with it. High maintenance. Yeah, we got this. We got Look, this. Look, I'm, I'm not even Italian. I use my hands. I need to be able to move. <laughs> Let's just get started. All right. Uh, here we go. Frank, uh, what is the first topic on today is five by five. Car you learn to drive in. Oh, car. What a fitting topic. Car you learn to drive to in. To talk about with my father who taught uh, me how to drive. Sure. Do you remember where you learned how to drive? Yes, Roarstown Elementary School parking lot, which is where I went to elementary school. Um, Were you in elementary school at the time? No, but I was. Oh. I don't know. Can we get arrested for this? No. I was 14 when I started learning how to drive. Shh, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said no. <laughs> I said we can't get arrested. doesn't mean you should broadcast it all over the... But only... I wasn't on the roads, obviously. I was this... just in the empty Roarstown parking lot in the Scion. So the story goes... Ooh, a Scion. A Scion, yes. Yeah, Scion XP. It was a great car. I bought it in Amazing. 2010. Mm. Love that. The toaster. If you're from Hempfield, do you know the toaster? I was driving a lot, and I was uh, driving to New York a lot. Uh, I had some clients out on Long Island, and, and I needed a new car. I bought this little Scion. I loved it. Got great gas mileage. I was listening to podcasts on an iPod, uh-huh. the click wheel iPod in that car. And one day we were driving around, and, and Ruby said to me, I can't wait to learn how to drive. She's like 14. Mm. And so I just pulled into the parking lot. And I <laughs> She's said, get in the front seat. Let's, let's go. Get in. Today's the day, kid. Let's go. <laughs> so we putzed around, and it, uh, it, there you go. Honestly, I wouldn't have had it any other way because the day I got my permit, I hit 60 going down Marietta Pike. And most kids get their permit, and they're like, which one's the gas, which one's the brake? I mean, we all still have those moments. but We do? Do you? Occasionally. Occasionally, you know. But that's just the senior side oh, of, the, of the spectrum. I'm just <laughs> I'm getting to that point, right? Fair. But it was great because when I got my permit, I already knew what I was doing. Yeah, it was just did. driving on the road for the first time. But once you get on it, it's no, no different than driving in a parking lot pretty much. Just red lights. Right. Less right. white so. lines. Yeah. That's true. Diggs, what kind of car did you learn to drive in? Um, I'm t- So, ugh, 
I was trying to think because it's Huffy. I don't. No, no, no. no. It was a it was a Honda Civic for for it was a Honda Civic or a Ford Focus. It, I, I did a driver's ed course in high school. Okay, so the car would shift depending on who was able to come out to do the lessons. Um, did you drive their car? It was part. It, it, they're a school that does it. They, my high school contracted oh, with them, so okay. they just, it was like <laughs> yeah, like a student driver. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So student like it was an older, older, older. Uh, I was like two older dudes. Maybe there's one older lady. I can't remember. Um, and you would have like, I think it was like an hour and a half on the road with them, like every other week or something like gotcha. that. I forget okay. how it got got sort of apportioned out. And I remember taking the test. I had to. I was more comfortable in the Civic. So I like had to contract. I had to like get that guy who had the Civic to take me to the uh, whatever the yeah like the driver's the vehicle place. commission yeah. yeah in Jersey, um, and had to go with him in that specific car because I was like this is the one I'm comfortable in. But the first time I drove a car, I think I, I think it was my dad's Nissan Pathfinder. Okay. Um, and I may or may not have been younger than. <laughs> did you so here's a question did you get a license in jersey then because you I were had at school in jersey my first license i oh, grew up in new york didn't, didn't know that um my first license was issued by the state of new jersey got it to my new york address oh so interesting there was a weird <laughs> yeah cross thing that new york and jersey allow they they do that the same yeah. state yeah hold <laughs> whoa <laughs> all the new yorkers just stopped watching <laughs> so <laughs> sorry so, so back back in the old days mm-hmm. when when uh you would go get your you could get your permit um, when you're 15. Nice. Okay, so you could, you could, and then you would go get your license, but you didn't have to, like, you could literally go get your permit the day before your 16th birthday and then go back on your 16th birthday and get your driver's license. I'm not even <laughs> kidding. They didn't care. There was no rule. That's mm. why all old people are terrible at driving. Well, I'm not going to argue with that. Uh, I mean, you don't have any scientific evidence to back that up, but uh, in any event, w- w- listen to this story. Mm. My brother takes me to get my permit. Mm. My brother's two years older than me, and he takes me to get my permit mm-hmm. uh, to, to do the test to get the permit, whatever. Yep. We wreck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he rear ends this lady coming back from taking me to get my permit. <laughs> I wasn't driving. He was, he, of course. I deferred. Yeah. <laughs> right. Because right, I just took the written test. Right, because you were, you were getting ready. You were you know, going through the theory. You had, you had Absolutely. Just, you had I was some brain work. <laughs> yeah, no, I was studying. I was, I was all in it mentally. But yeah, no, we, we actually. Well, wait, what was the car? Oh, oh it was yeah. a. Uh, Let's see, the one that I would have driven the most would have been a 1987 Chevy Celebrity. Mm. Ooh. We had a 1985 Chevy Celebrity, Celebrity Eurosport oh. Whoa. with a sporty? sunroom. Or a sunroom. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> a whole extra had, room? Had a room built on the back. It was, it was great. Yeah, we had, we had like a family living back there. <laughs> what, like, was it a station wagon? Is that what? <laughs> no, no, it was like a- it was Rent like, that out on Airbnb? The Chevy, Euro, the Chevy Celebrities were like a sedan, like a pr- pretty regular okay, sedan. Okay. But the Eurosport was pretty fancy. It had the luggage rack and the, the sunroof. Mm. Sunroof. And the, and the, uh, ca- the cassette stereo built in. Oh, nice. Like that's it, what I have right now. Yeah, like it came with it. Yeah. Um, it was no, it was a good car. It was a good <laughs> now that's antique. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is. I literally, I I had to get one of those cassette aux things. Corey, our awesome production guy, actually told me about them. So shout out, Corey. Oh yeah, they're great. well done, Corey. Um, I had one. I of those. got it, and I I didn't know how to insert it to the cassette thing because it was this way and then the cassette thing was like that and i was like are you serious i just ordered this and it's too wide i was like <laughs> how does it go in um and you then i realized you didn't you... try to do like the match a shape <laughs> I, just... I need to go back to the building block children's toys day. put that on my christmas little, list yeah the little wooden stars things. and the <laughs> this was like two like three months ago i love it so <laughs> The car, for, for reference, the car's a 2008 Kia. She's right. Yeah, it's almost as old. As it's not an antique. It's not an antique. <laughs> no, I know, I know. <laughs> it's getting there. Anyway, we've just driven off a lot of topic number one. We're getting ready for topic number two: popcorn. Ooh. Ooh. Pro. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Definitely pro. <laughs> but but just regular popcorn. I don't want. I don't need. Yeah, we're we're gonna get into the whole to okay, the craft right, artisan right. popcorn oh, here gosh. coming up. I but feel like there's like history here. Just 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 no. just generally, are you a popcorn fan? I love popcorn. Um, do, is there a particular kind of popcorn you like? Um, well, my mom makes great popcorn, so hers has always been a staple. But I recently, because I didn't eat microwave popcorn growing up, because she always made it. Mm. But I recently started getting into microwave popcorn. <laughs> I learned how to make it in college. That's what I took for my freshman year. I kind of did well, high school, but <laughs> and it's so good. And the Wegman's movie theater microwave popcorn, 
Oh, it's Wegmans. Amazing. Oh, I didn't, Wegman, I didn't and it's cheaper because it's store brand. It's mm. so good. So, so I have a so I have a love hate relationship with popcorn. All right. <laughs> oh gosh. What did popcorn do to you? No, no. Listen, it's not really the popcorn. It's oh. it's, it's it's the people. Popcorns don't ruin a, a theater experience. People do. Oh. oh. All right. So I would go to the movies back in the day, right? Yes. Back in the nineties, right? <laughs> I'd go to the movies, and uh, when Braveheart came out. <laughs> No, what are you laughing? Sorry, about? I just, I just the, never the speech. The speech just it was something. Yeah. Listen, just calm down for a minute. Everybody, take a deep breath. When Braveheart came out, a buddy of mine said, "I, I, I didn't know anything about the film." And my buddy said, oh, "You should go see Braveheart. It's excellent." Right? Hmm. I was like, "Okay, we'll go see Braveheart." So we went to see Bra- Braveheart. I saw Braveheart four times in a movie theater. Oh. I loved this movie. Okay, you paid each time. I paid each. Of course, it was pretty cheap back then. I gotta see it. It was I four times I went to see this movie. Mm. I bought the soundtrack. I bought the VHS. <laughs> I never bought, heard you this passionate about something. I, I bought the VHS. <laughs> I bought the VHS tape of the bloody movie, and I watched it all the time. But listen to me. Mm. Every time <laughs> I went to the movies to see Braveheart, the experience was just obliterated <laughs> by someone eating popcorn. By by popcorn, by uh, I. By this one woman, I, th- I don't know if it was the second or third time, brought a three-year-old. <laughs> oh, no. If you know anything about Braveheart, it's like a three-hour, it's a three-hour movie about, uh, I don't know, ancient Scotland, where it's, it's gory, it's not gory, but it's like bloody battles, like yeah, violent. It's not, it's not for kids. <laughs> it's definitely not for kids, especially not a three-year-old who, who picked the squeakiest chair ah. in the bloody theater, right? The story is fantastic. <laughs> Have you heard it? No. The, oh. the other, the other, the other times it was it was just a mix of the chomping of the popcorn, and I I, I became sensitive to it because I went back mm. a third time. I was like, I'm gonna go see this movie. I'm gonna experience the way it should be experienced. I'm gonna go back, and it was the it, the chomping, <laughs> and it just made it just made me it just spoiled movies for me, and it just made me think why a noisy, you know what I mean? Like why a noisy. Oh. Food. Yeah. It, it is a weird food choice for movie it's theaters. It's the scrape of the bucket. Way. It's but the it's, scrape of the paper it's bucket. It's cheap. It's so like, good. Just think about how. To, like literally, all you do is just. There's pop, other. Pop, there's pop other corn. cheap. <laughs> there's other cheap food. <laughs> what about like beans or something? Like a, that's you, pretty much no, what corn oh, is. Soft beans. No, but now you now you need people need a spoon. Then people are gonna be farting. Then they're gonna be yeah. And then all they're right. gonna drop. All right. So beans. Okay. Beans are a bad idea. Yeah. No. Maybe like oatmeal. No, no, again, you still need a spoon. Like, no, you don't. People can't. No, no, just, no. no, no that's no. even grosser. You would get the slurp noises. Oh. Right. Oh. Uh, I, this, your homework for this episode of 5 by 5 Comment come, down below. Yeah, come up with a soft food alternative for popcorn in movie theaters. Huh. Craft pop, kettle popcorn. Yeah. No, sweet, no, we can stick with craft because it's cra- all, it was all cr- cooked. Craft popcorn, where are you at with that? I, the only one I can do is Cracker Jacks. That's it. Mm. I can't do. Is that considered? Cra- that's not like artisanal. <laughs> no, but uh, to me, it, it it's it's anything that's not popcorn with butter and salt is like craft, uh. right? To or, me, yeah. And it's like I can do some cheddar popcorn depending on the level of cheddar because that's yeah. the okay. Well, I think there's a distinct difference between like Smart freshly pop. like freshly popped yeah. popcorn in either a movie theater or an air popper at home mm-hmm. versus I went to Sheets. For those of you in our global audience, Sheets is a gas station chain and convenience store chain. It's amazing. <laughs> and it's better than Wawa. It's, it's, it's better than Wawa competing gas <laughs> gas station and uh, convenience store yes. in the uh, just Google central it. Just, just Google it. Anyway, it, it's going to Sheets mm. and, and buying a bag of popcorn. There's yeah. just a complete, it's like school oh. pizza. Right, yeah. it, it's like school pizza versus when you go to the pizza shop. That's fair. Sometimes I do get a craving for school pizza. Exactly, it's a different food. Yeah. is yeah. what I'm saying. So when I go into Sheets and I buy a bag of white cheddar popcorn, mm-hmm. which I don't ever do, but if I were to, it would. It, that is a completely different experience than freshly popped, you know, gotcha. annoyingly yeah. loud uh, movie theater. So, re- See, but you know what I what I think. The craft popcorn, like I've had the chocolate covered and all that stuff, and I don't like it because it gets chewy. And chewy popcorn, I would rather it be loud and annoying but have a nice crunch. Yeah, okay. Because the chewiness, it gets stuck in your teeth. Don't even get me started on kernels, though. That's the one thing. Well, yeah, that's, but, a, that's but the a universal. Chewiness, you, you, yeah. well, you don't chaw on the kernels at the end? But no. I mean, like the little skins oh. that get stuck like in your throat. Right, right, right. But, but the, the chewy, chewy popcorn is a no. Crunchy, yeah. 
What about the so- soggy butter popcorn at the bottom of the... Nope. <laughs> you know, I used to love that as a child. Now my texture... Oh. I, I'm in the same boat. I yeah. used to. Well, friends, the last kernel has popped on topic uh, number two. It is time for topic number three of today's 5 by 5 which is... Golf. <gasps> Ooh. Golf. <How> fitting. <laughs> Speaking of Scotland. <laughs> yes. We do foreshadow. We, we do, do foreshadow yeah, a lot of uh, topics. Good. Of that, course, I think we kind of we, we make connections where there probably aren't really that. Well, yeah. that's also true. That's also true. We can we can make a lot of things connect on five by five. It's one of our gifts. We're good at that. What about golf for you, Ruby? <laughs> Another shout out to Corey, our yeah. producer. Uh, Corey and I learned how to golf uh, at the same time Is back right? in summer twenty twenty. Um, I I love it. It's very fun. Um, <laughs> I, I I started golfing to get brownie points with my pap app. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I wanted to be the favorite grandchild, and I've achieved that position. <laughs> You're like setting up for the future. She's like, this is my retirement here. If I can, I, yeah. <laughs> there's six of us. If, right. I can, <laughs> if, if I can weasel my way into about 50% he of that. He always said, I'm so sad none of my grandkids golf because he's a huge golfer. I said, say no more. But okay. Say no more. And can, it's, I do enjoy it, though. Can, can we go back to the fun descriptor real quick? I just, I, I mean, I understand fun with family. But what's the general funness of walking around <laughs> whacking at weeds? Well, driving the golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> she has wanted to drive it. I will say I'm that drinking as her okay. as her father. <laughs> okay, she is. She has definitely been. Uh, she has had a desire to drive golf carts since she was a little kid. It's it's like a weird thing. It's a thing. No, 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 no. That's fair. That's fair. I that I I can appreciate. That. Also, it's a good anger management source because you picture your enemy's faces as the golf balls but that's a and thing. then you just hold it hold it you hit a drive don't you also then get annoyed with the ball at a certain point so then this is actually i mean it actually creates more anger if you're yeah. bad at golf i oh i see which i mean yeah i am but yeah i'm not good have if you got have you golfed i have uh, yes there was a golf course on campus well it was a, it was a nine hole course it wasn't a full course it's it, we're not campus is not well, actually campus is big enough to Hold it. Doesn't matter. Yes, I would. <laughs> that, was a, that was a hell of an answer for if you ever golf. Sorry, I, I know. I just I'm working Wait, yes through the no, answer. In my head. Yes or no? Uh, yes. Um, so I went with a friend who was on the varsity golf team. Oh. Yeah. And initially, really didn't know what I was doing. They're like, I hit one good drive. Yeah. But otherwise, it just it annoyed the hell out of me. So like, my country club sport is tennis. I'm just gonna stick yeah. to tennis. I just can't. You're a tennis guy. Yeah. Did you do a so good I golf trip? Like- I feel like I golfed maybe a, a half a dozen times. Well, for business, you, did you? No, I don't know. That's also why I wanted to learn, though, is I want to go into the sports industry and yeah, that's a good idea. All business deals are made on the golf course, you know. Yeah, no, it's it's a great idea. Yeah, that yeah. Is true. So just, if you want to learn now, I tried. Look, my brother, my brother's a big golfer. My dad was a big golfer, and they, they, you know, every once in a while, I would go out. Uh, when there was like a gang, you know, it'd be like a you the know guys. bunch of guys at the bunch of guys at the cabin, mm. and we'd go play, you know, eighteen holes. I'd make it about four or five holes. I'd be like, I'm out. <laughs> I'm just, I'm done. I do have to say that eighteen eighteen holes gets a little long, especially mm. when you're not great like me, and it takes longer than it should. Mm. Um, I'm remembering a different statement, like just two minutes ago, about how great you were. Just, but keep going. No, I, I. I came back after that and changed my mind we're gonna check the tape on that but keep going i'll I'll put the replay in right now (laughs) i mean it actually creates more anger if you're bad at golf i oh i see which i mean yeah i am but yeah i I added this i can make you look bad digs oh dang it (laughs) just kidding i would not do that i do not fringe on the truthful the magic the the sanctity of of um anyways but yeah 18 holes can get a little long um i prefer a nice nine you know quick get it done fun and also you're not really getting that like i would it, like the one reason i would do it i think is the actual walking part not that i don't like driving golf carts but i feel like that would like the walking would be there's a meditative sort yeah. of uh out in nature yeah. out in curate like a cure well curated nature yeah mm-hmm. that i could do that i could get behind uh, yeah. breathe in the fresh air i mean i, yeah. I, I, I get it i just yeah. i never liked it i'm not good at it i i struggled to like there's the whole be the ball thing, yeah. Yeah. you know. There, I I just I want to whack the shit out of it, and I just can't. I yep. can't hold back. Yeah. And there's a whole. I, I get it, right? It's a, you practice and you practice and you and you get good at something. But yeah. um, it just never really stuck for me. Yeah. Um. But it's, I but I cannot like I can sort of put myself in a position where I could understand why some people. Yeah. Why it's a good thing. A good thing. It, it's a great exercise actually which you wouldn't think because you just stand and swing but i would always track it on my watch and i would burn like 
a <coughs> decent amount of calories. I think my first nine hole course, I burned like 800 calories. No. Which, and that's with driving the golf cart. Like it's such a good workout. Like I wasn't even walking. So I just, I need, this is my sign to get back into it. Cause I took it, quite a hiatus. Yeah. It's, it's time. time. It's time. It's time. Uh, golf on TV. No. Uh, the one that have you seen the like the power golf? Do you know? I, that's I don't think that's the name of it. But there's literally a thing which just like is that heads. with the windmills and you you have to like hit it mini through golf? the golf? No, 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 no. Literally, it's all drives. All they're doing oh. is is c- competing to hit the furthest drive, and it's all just meatheads <laughs> who take the most ridiculous like run ups and like. It's, oh yeah. Oh, it is Ex- like extreme. Yeah, like X it's Games. That I wanted that to be I one watched. of them. The meatheads <laughs> when when you like kick it up in the air and then whack it or something. I, no, 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 no. It, it's still on a tee. Oh. It's just that, like, they will, like, 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 they'll, like, they'll look up. like they're doing cricket. Like, oh, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, Never mind. I don't want to be that. No, mm. I don't think so. Well, that sounds, you know what that sounds like to me? That sounds like a holiday, a post meal holiday TV thing with the family when you need something neutral. I think that is when I saw it. You know what I'm saying? I think you're right. You're laying on the couch, <laughs> yep. right? Need, and need you're laying on the couch. Ca- everybody's Grandpa just sort of. Grandpa wants to watch some golf. Right, and you end up with extreme golf. <laughs> yeah, whatever it's called. Yeah. I'll, I'm gonna I'll look that name. up. It's ridiculous. Well, we bogeyed topic num- topic number three. Hey. <laughs> it's time for topic number four in this episode's five by five. Do you know what bogey is? Okay, uh, draw. I never can. Or- <laughs> it's so long. Draw, draw or paint. Draw or paint. What's your like? What do you? What do you? What's your artistic medium? If I had to choose between the two, yeah. This is hard. I would draw. Okay. I would draw. I'm not a painter. Yeah. I've painted mm. a very brief. I had a very brief painting career. Mm. <laughs> um, How much did you sell? <laughs> we're gonna have them up on auction at sogoodlangster.com. Uh, get your holiday gifts now, folks. I gave I gave my only half decent painting to my mom, uh, and she has it on she has it on a wall. It's it's pretty. What is it? It's like a flower. Oh, like a like an abstract flower. What, a, what, a good what are you sound. looking at? What a good I don't know what you're talking about. Um, Next time I go, I've never seen that. That doesn't look like a flower. No. <laughs> hey, hey, Dad. I didn't even know he painted. <laughs> I, like I said, I, I had a very short career. Yeah. Was it before me? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. It was, uh, like, it was like 25 years ago, I oh. think I painted that. What? I dabbled. See, that's the thing. Like, I used to do that, yeah, as a kid, like, but never. I, I was in my 20s. Okay. Well, I dabbled a little bit. I dabbled with some painting. I was still kidding. But I, drew, I, I did I do draw more. Mm-hmm. It's one of those things too. Do you ever? You're like, oh, I should do. I should. I should do some art. Mm-hmm. Do you ever get yeah. that? Do you ever get that art? Like, it's like it's a it's a New Year's resolution era. Yep. Like, oh, you know what? I should do to balance my life. Yeah. And yeah. my stress and mm-hmm. all this. I should. Yeah. I should get a sketch pad. Golf, so. And then I go get. Here's what happens. I go to the art store usually around December 27th, right? <laughs> when I'm exchanging the socks or whatever, you know, and I I swing by Michaels or whatever, and I buy the sketch pad and mm. refresh the pencils, mm-hmm. right? And then I go back, and then somewhere around maybe February 3rd or 4th, mm-hmm. the sketch I open up the drawer, and then I'm like, oh shit, there's last year's sketch pad, <laughs> yep, and it goes right in there, yep. and then I and it's like, oh. That was the year before. There's my there's my 2017 sketch pad right there. I've got sketch pads dating back to like 2005. I, but are they filled? Some of them are because you know I'm mm. I'm I was an artistic child. Oh yeah. Um, I I'm the same. I dabble in painting nowadays. Honestly, the last time I painted was September 1st because that's when we had all that flooding and I had off school and I wanted to paint some things for fall decor for my room, so I did. Oh, you really did like paint recently? Yeah. Um, but I do like drawing, and I do draw somewhat often. Um, and I've, I've always been into drawing. More than more than painting. More than painting. It's the cleanup. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, it's the efficiency of it. I yep. draw when I'm bored in class, which is which never, is a lot. Never. It's never. Yeah. If any of my professors watching this, I love your classes. <laughs> but sometimes the artistic flow just comes out, and I can't. I can't put a damper on no it. no you can't suppress that uh, while no. you're multitasking listening to the exactly. very interesting lecture mm-hmm. yes <laughs> i used to draw a lot yeah that was my big thing in fact i used to do like ridiculously elaborate like like um uh, boats or ships oh. i guess i was gonna ask what your genre um, would be yeah i don't know i had this seafaring hu- yeah this huge like i don't like being on the water but i loved <laughs> drawing <laughs> ships and boats but like old time like military like oh. like the big like cannon hole things like yeah. those whatever those are called. my man of war whatever it is um i used to know but yeah that used to be my thing so i also sometimes like thinking up new like star trek ships 
Just because, like, like Star Trek was always on in my house. <laughs> yeah, some, yeah. Some, hey, hey. It was on in my house too. Don't turn the Trekkies off. We just lost. What did we? Who? What audience did we lose already? The Live the, long the and sheets. <laughs> wow, wow, crowd. The New Jer- New Yorkers. Yeah. And, oh, New Yorkers. That's right. Um, but no, like it just. I don't know. I used to just like have fun, just thinking like, oh, what it mean? Yeah. If I could, if I could make a ship. Yeah. Why not? No, that's that's great. It, I I feel like that uh, that drawing any kind of art like that. It just goes away. Yeah. Oh, I lost it. I can't do it anymore. I mean, as a kid, yeah. it's like, it's just like there's a freedom there. I know it's, mm-hmm. it's a little cliche to say it, but it's it's like when you really think about it, you know, you're encouraged to to be creative, and and there's you have art in school. Yep. Yeah. For what that's worth, you know, however much you participate in that, but it just seems like even if you're into it as a kid, yeah. even if you're like an arts and craftsy kind of kid, um, it just kind of fades away, and it's a shame. I mean, except for the artists, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Right, they, you know, they keep going and art and does exist in the world. So, it oh does. no, it, it does. And I'm not saying, but it just feels like for, for pleasure, like just yeah. for just as a hobby. Yeah, you're right. So. Uh, do you have a preferred uh, like? Do you do colored pencils? Do you do? Do you have like special? Oh. or are you just like grabbing the number two and just, just yeah, hammering just, on yeah. the on the legal pad? The old graphite, yeah, the yeah. Condoroga, whatever it is. I did <laughs> buy a really nice set of pencils once. The colored ones. Well, I, get, I got. I nice, have the colored ones. No, there was a. I it was. Think. It was a. Oh yeah, yeah. The metal was, case. Yeah, long. Yep. I, I don't know. That. I paid like thirty bucks for that thing. I think I still have them. You mm. better. Um, uh, but <laughs> no, I, I one, one of those December twenty seventh. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm it, not just gonna buy a sketch pad. In the green uh, box, the green package. Yeah, yeah. Those pencils. Yeah. I might have those too. Those are great pencils. <laughs> those are really good. Those were like the. But here's the thing: is it's like me and most things creative, mm. and most tools. Mm-hmm. I, I buy it and then I don't learn anything about it. <laughs> so you, you ever you ever buy, you ever do you ever look at like real drawing pencils like real ones? Oh yeah, and you're and it's like two uh, B, yep, G. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know it's, all these codes. I just use whatever is sharpest. Yeah, it, it's right. just like it's just like oh yeah, you know I'm gonna. This I'm is, sure that there are meetups. This is good for tracing. This is good for shading. This is yeah, yeah, yeah right. I can't. There, there there are people who know this stuff. Mm-hmm. But we're, 99, we're, we're not making fun of you. We just don't. No, get it. no, no. we Let's, aspire to be you. Yes. <laughs> We're just losing audiences left and right. Yeah, this is this is a ba- this is a bad episode. <laughs> <laughs> you, you you might want to t- you might want to just want to turn this one off right now. <laughs> no, we need that engagement. <laughs> um, that's just that's just get get, get yeah, the topic number five. Get yeah. the hell out of here. Yeah. Uh, no more Frank, shooting. <laughs> law and order. Oh. Ooh, I, law I, and order. I actually. Um. So fun fact about me. I've never actually seen Law and Order, but recently, like any of them, any of the special SVU, I don't even know what that stands for, special victim, oh, never, I do know what it stands for. Anyways, I've never seen it's any sport, of the- It's sport vehicle utility, um, go ahead. No, just, oh, oh <laughs> I've never seen any of the Law and Orders, but I recently, I'm in a media law class right now, shout out Dr. Spicer, and I absolutely love it, and this class inspired me to become a <laughs> politics and government minor, because I was like, ooh, law and, and stuff and policies are fun. Um, and now I'm like, I should watch it because I might find it interesting, but I don't know where to start because there's so many and uh, it's, there's, I, it's so I'd old. Start with the older ones. You got to go back to the OG. <laughs> yeah, because that's the only the, the after the characters overlap, right? Some of them do. But the thing is, like, the original Law and Order truly did have the law and the order. Oh, okay. So, like, you got the cops running around trying to solve the crimes yeah. but then you also got the courtroom intrigue. right yeah. right but they actually did more of the like the process of running yeah a case because it's so interesting it is it is so i would say if you're going to d- start yeah uh, season one no see, when yeah, did, yeah, when yeah, did law and order start was it it was, was it, like uh, the 90s yeah, nine, well, you know, it was definitely the 90s 1990 i think because i watched it in syndication in the later it, 90s it was it was 90 because it was on for 20 years it was uh, the original was canceled in 2010. Okay. Don't ask me why I remember that. Um, it was a heartbreaking moment for Diggs. But the, no, actually, I wasn't. I, I, that wasn't my favorite one. I just remember being like, "Why would you cancel the original and leave yeah, the was... other spinoffs?" It yeah. just didn't seem right. But they're bringing it back. Oh. There's the, the original Law and Order is coming back. Uh, I think halfway through this season, like, like okay, some like in oh. January, February, something like that. Um, so. There will be new new stories. So I have I have like two months to catch up on every single Law and Order episode. Yeah, there's like four hundred and fifty thousand of them. You can just yeah. you can yeah. just binge those over <laughs> the holidays. True. You know. Yep. Now I remember watching it. So for those of you under thirty five, syndication is reruns on television. <laughs> um, I didn't know that. And the, the way that that worked was 
a television series would be on once a week, mm-hmm. and then they would put it in syndication <laughs> on rerun, so you could watch it every night. Uh, you also, yeah, you also need to like the the once a week part for a set amount of time. Oh, that's right. Yeah, for a season, as a season, and a then, real season, yes. not just a group of episodes. Yes, which is the definition of season now. Yeah. Anyway, they would show the, the the program once a week, and then after two or three se- seasons, after two or three years, um, they would start running season one, but you could watch it every day. So, like on A and E, for example, back yep. in the '90s, it was on like at seven o'clock at night. Was Law and Order on A and E? A and E USA. Because you know what, A and E to me is Live PD. Yeah. Which got canceled. I don't know what that is. And it's so sad, but I didn't know that they did like acting shows on A and E. Well, back in the day. Oh, uh, because now it's all just. I mean, it's. Not but the original acting. Law and Order was on like a network, right? NBC. I only oh. watched. Yeah. I only watched it on on reruns on A and E. Gotcha. Uh, it's just whatever. But I did watch it in the late '90s. Um, that that original cast, mm-hmm. and I thought it was a cool show. Like you know what I mean? It was just it was just entertaining. Mm-hmm. But um, I never watched any of the like all the different ones that the came out. That but came that out. no that that music. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> that's just the best. Dun, dun. We'll have to get that. Done. Oh, we should. As a New Yorker, yeah. Oh. oh, it was all over the place. Like you couldn't. The amount of times I I ran into. Like diff- the, uh, the all the versions filming. Like, That's what I was going to sure ask. I must have been in like in the background of a few. Of the- it just I'll keep a lookout for you. It just are- happens. It's just like it, it, like like I know I I actually think I'm in the background of an SVU episode that was filming in the meatpacking district because mm-hmm. a friend of mine was she she was an extra like she was actually an extra so she was hired to be an extra but then they needed more people or something happened I don't remember. Um, and like there's, I remember there's a chase scene or something. I think Stabler's running after somebody. Everybody, this yeah. is your no, no, mission. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Go find the Law and Order episode with Diggs and comment it's, it down below. It's SVU. It, it, Stabler was still in it in the original, which if you you know what that means if you watch the show. Um, yeah, somewhere down in the meatpacking district. But yeah, no, you would just run into it all over the place. Because I, I, it was <clears throat> when you're from a place like Barnesboro, Pennsylvania, <laughs> the booming metropolis of where it doesn't even exist anymore. But <clears throat> back even back in the day. You know, you would think you, you, ne- nothing like that would have ever happened, mm. right? And so you're watching the, a show like this, and you you know they're on the real streets. Oh, yeah. It's not like a set in Hollywood. Nope. <clears throat> they're on the real streets. They're filming this thing, and there's so many of them. And, and I, yeah, I often wondered about that, like yeah. how that works in a big city like that. And they would, the like, oh, and they would get called out when they did silly things. Like if they, like if it clearly, if, well, not, okay, if you don't, if you're not from New York, this isn't going to be clear, but like if they're in Queens, what they're actually shooting in like the uh, Bronx, uh, like, oh, yeah, they would get called out because, <laughs> But sometimes it was just. But there was no social media to really flame them. Right, right. But now nowadays, nowadays, now it's a different story. Yeah, that's really funny. Yeah, you could get away with a lot more with movies and TV. I remember it reminds me of like when, uh, when bands would be in movies in in the like seventies mm. and eighties. Mm. Like what, you know, there'd be a rock band on stage. Mm-hmm. I was a musician, right? So, so I was like interested in that, and yeah. they they never could play the instrument. Like they they would be faking it. Oh, like the, the movies never cared. To, to like I would I would I would get so mad I'd be like hire a rock band <laughs> like hire oh, oh you mean like the actors playing a musician yeah they would always I'm have sorry. they would I'm always have you. actors playing the musicians and bands and then right. they didn't know how to do it yeah, okay so they would be like hitting the wrong drum you know <laughs> oh for the sound you hear yeah for the sound you hear there was <laughs> there was even the, there was even this movie called like tri- it was called tr- Trick or Treat mm. which was about a rock band and they hired an actor instead of ah forget about it. <laughs> Anyway. Go see Trick or Treat. No. <laughs> I'm going to go no. binge watch Law and Order. You should. <sighs> that, was, that was quick. That's that the fastest 25 minutes in podcasting. Sing. Oh, and dun, dun. <laughs> dun, dun. <laughs> um, I have nothing to really say. I'm so worn out. That was That's great. Okay. That's okay. That was great. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. For the for watching. If, the, whoever's left, for, okay, well, yeah. <laughs> if, Who we didn't offend. If anybody stuck around, we really pre- <laughs> we really appreciate. We pre- we appreciate you. Diggs, can you take it from here? I forget what the ending is. Thank you, everybody, for checking us out on whatever platform you watch us on. And we will see you next time on Five by Five. The Candy Factory 5x5 five five podcast is produced at So Good Media Studio at the Candy Factory, a co working and social club located in downtown Lancaster, PA. The show is hosted by Jason Mundock and Robert Diggs with music by John Chin. Yeah, yeah. He's a really cool guy. Follow us on the socials at So Good Lancaster. Find 5x5 five five and all of our shows at SoGoodLancaster.com. So Good. Lancaster!